Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Fasting can create an environment where the body can get rid of pathogenic bacteria in the gut. In fact, we believe that fasting is like rebooting the hard drive in the computer, including when it comes to gut microbiome. Continue watching to find out more. Era Mamia Deya means today is a beautiful day in the Cook Islands Maori language, one of the official languages in the Cook Islands. Bright viewers, my name is Taina. The people of the Cook Islands wish for your heart to sparkle radiantly. Welcome to today's program, Fasting Ourselves Out of the Pleasure Trap, Dr. Alan Goldhammer, Vegan, Part 3 of 3. In our three-part series, we are honoured to feature health expert Dr. Alan Goldhammer. He is a chiropractor and has been vegan for more than 40 years. To encourage the public to return to a healthier life, Dr. Goldhammer co-authored the book, The Pleasure Trap, Mastering the Hidden Force that Undermines Health and Happiness, to share his insightful observations on removing barriers to wellness and the practice of water fasting. In 1984, Dr. Goldhammer established the Santa Rosa, California, USA-based True North Health Center that provides medical chiropractic, naturopathic, massage, and acupuncture services. The center is now the largest facility in the world that specializes in medically supervised water-only fasting. During previous episodes, Dr. Goldhammer discussed how many chronic conditions affecting us today, such as obesity, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and autoimmune disorders, are predominantly the result of excess eating. He says the result we find it difficult to control our appetites is that we are caught in the pleasure trap. The processed substances added to our foods artificially stimulate the production of dopamine and other pleasure chemicals in our brains. The more dopamine, the more pleasure, so it perpetuates a cycle of overconsumption. His effective method to end this cycle is through a medically supervised water fast and a vegan whole foods diet. Today, Dr. Goldhammer will continue to share his wisdom on progressing to a healthier lifestyle. We recommend that people eat a whole plant food diet, fruit, salads, steamed vegetables. So that includes things like potatoes, rice, starchy vegetables, and excluding animal foods, so meat, fish, fowl, eggs, and dairy products, and excluding the chemicals added to food in the form of salt, oil, and sugar. And we don't use oil in its fractionated form. Of course, you do need things like fat, and it comes from your whole plant foods. So your fruits, vegetables, grains, legumes, nuts, and seeds all have a certain percentage of their calories coming from fat. And it turns out you get all the fat you need from eating the diet you're designed to eat, which is a whole plant food diet. You need sodium, but all the sodium you need comes from within the vegetable-rich diet that we're eating. 
skipping one or two meals in a day is easily attainable. But when it comes to truly long periods of purposely not eating, this is a different matter and requires careful guidance. People may believe that extended fasting is an enormous challenge, but as Dr. Goldham explains, we all fast daily while asleep. He also recommends refraining from eating at least three hours before going to bed, as this is beneficial for our bodies. I might want to point out that fasting is done by everyone. Everybody fasts. When they go to bed at night and they don't eat for whether it's six hours or eight hours or 10 or 12 or even, as we often recommend, 16 hours, people are fasting. And then they break that daily fast with something often called breakfast or break fast. And so now the question is, what about with intermittent fasting? What if we narrow the feeding window, which is often recommended? So by not eating three hours before you go to bed, let's say you don't eat after, say, six o'clock and you don't eat breakfast, say, before 9 a.m., well, there, now you've got a period of anywhere from 12 to 16 hours, depending on the specifics, where you're fasting. And some have suggested that even that brief period of intermittent fasting is enough to induce hormone changes and other changes over time, cumulatively, that may have health-promoting benefits. It's also possible by narrowing the feeding window to 8 or 10 or 12 hours a day that you may tend to eat less. And there's some suggestion that even for people that aren't eating an ideal diet, they may consume less calories if they are eating from one period to another rather than all day and all night long. Also, by not eating uh, for three hours before you go to bed, you may find people sleep better, uh, uh, sleep more, have a higher ratio of non-REM deep sleep, and uh, may get some additional benefits, just not from eating you know, right before you go to bed and having all that activity going on in your body. Everything we consume enters the gastrointestinal tract. And if we regularly eat animal products, some of our gut bacteria will not be beneficial for us. A fast can reset our system and clear out bad bacteria that can cause health issues like autoimmune disorders and replace them with good bacteria if we then embrace a vegan lifestyle. Fasting can create an environment where the body can get rid of pathogenic bacteria in the gut. In fact, we believe that fasting is like rebooting the hard drive in the computer, including when it comes to gut microbiome. You have five pounds of bacteria living in your intestinal tract right now, maybe a thousand different strains. These are living creatures, living, eating, drinking, and defecating inside you right now. So you have five pounds of bacteria pooing inside your body as we speak. And what your body poos inside you will depend on what you feed them. If you feed your bacteria meat, you're going to have a different bacteria strain and different um, byproducts from their uh, survival than if you feed them soluble fibers like sweet potatoes. So if you want those bacteria pulling trimethylamine oxidase into you and increasing your risk of heart disease and cancer, people may choose to eat meat. If you want to have your bacteria pulling fertilizer into you, including vitamin K and other things, then I would recommend a whole plant food diet, particularly you know starchy vegetable materials. For people currently in the pleasure trap and craving unhealthy addictive substances, fasting is a positive step towards change by giving the body time to heal. Abstaining from food for a period also provides an opportunity for people to rest, adjust, and contemplate inwardly. The reality is that it's difficult to get people that are addicts to quit their addictions. If they're smokers, it's hard to quit smoking. Interestingly enough, by the second day of fasting, most smokers report no cravings for cigarettes. Now, some people say it's because they're so miserable fasting, they just don't think about the cigarettes, but it's really not true. It's just that whole metabolic adaptation is sped up in fasting. People that can't stand healthy foods, oftentimes after fasting, find that their, their palate is realimated, and now they like the taste of good food. And sometimes even the foods they used to crave are so strong that they, they're not actually quite as appealing. You know, the, the desserts and the things they used to eat are so sweet that it's not even quite 
um, as, as attractive. So it's not that people couldn't get back into their addictions. If they go back to smoking, if they go back to drinking, if they go back to eating he heated, treated, processed garbage foods, eventually they'll become addicted again. But fasting can give people a chance to feel what it feels like to be healthy again, what it feels like for good foods to taste good again. So, and I think that's why virtually every religion, from the Jains to the Jews, to the Hindus, to the Muslims, to the Christians, all have traditions of fasting in their narrative. They all understand that fasting may affect how you think about yourself and the world around you. And we use it not just for um, emotional and spiritual and mental reasons, but also for physical benefit. Expert guidance is highly recommended for long-term fasting, but there is also a simpler option that we all can practice daily to improve our health, as Dr. Goldhammer explains. Well, there is a really effective way, and that's healthful living. So people that adopt a whole plant food SOS-free diet get regular exercise and get appropriate amounts of sleep tend to find their overall balancing mechanisms being corrected. There is no exogenous pill, potion, or powder that's going to make up for your indiscretions. And, you know, that's what everybody's always looking for. What can I do so that I can achieve healthy weight and health, but without actually having to escape the pleasure trap? What people need to do is learn how to escape the pleasure trap so they can live healthfully, and the body will do what it does best, and that's heal itself. We appreciate Dr. Alan Goldhammer sharing his medical expertise with us and providing practical ways to escape the pleasure trap. May we all find encouragement from his suggestions and take more control of our eating habits for optimal health. To learn more about the True North Health Centre, please visit healthpromoting.com. Dr. Goldhammer's book, The Pleasure Trap, is available at amazon.com. Virtuous viewers, we are glad to have had you with us today. Up next is Buddhist Stories, The Land of Amitabha Buddha, Part 4 of 7 on Between Master and Disciples, right after Noteworthy News. May your pure heart beautifully blossom like a fragrant flower. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash HL. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule et suprememastertv.com bar oblique HL. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com bar inclinada schedule et suprememastertv.com bar inclinada HL. รายการของเรามีให้หลายภาษาโปรดดู SupremeMasterTV.com ทับ Schedule และ SupremeMasterTV.com ทับ HL